Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of a flounce pattern. So there's no sewing or anything in this video, it's literally just how to make the pattern piece. You could make this pattern piece on a skirt, on a sleeve, on a sleeve head, maybe ruffles like this or little fluted pieces like this, whatever you wanted using the same method. So I hope you enjoy. So for the purposes of this video, I am using a pencil skirt pattern that I want to add a flounce to the bottom. It doesn't have to be a pencil skirt, it could be any skirt, it could be a top, it could be a sleeve, just any pattern piece that you want to add a flounce to. So I've just measured up from the bottom hem of the skirt 5 inches because that's the depth I want my flounce to be. Again, you could have your flounce to be any depth just for this skirt I want mine to be 5 inches and from here on out I'm just going to work on the skirt front but just bear in mind I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the skirt back so I measured up my 5 inches, drew a line straight across and then separated the flounce from the skirt piece itself added 1 centimeter seam allowance to the bottom of the skirt and that's me finished with the top part of that skirt for now I'm just transferring my markings from the skirt to the flounce. So my skirt is cut on the fold, so I want my flounce to be cut on the fold. So that's what my three little circles are there. I have seam allowance already at the hem of the flounce and a side seam allowance already added. And now to open up my flounce, I'm just drawing vertical lines at one and a half inches apart the whole way across my pattern piece. Now they don't have to be one and a half inches apart, I just want mine to be equidistant in this pattern. And now I've just popped my flounce pattern piece on top of some fresh paper, slashed open my first line, and now I'm spreading that slash by two inches. Now it doesn't have to be two inches, but for my skirt I know that two inches gives me a nice amount of flounce, so that's what I'm doing for mine. You could do yours four inches apart if you wanted, it just it's down to personal preference really. So I've slashed open my line, I've spread my two inches and then I've stuck down my pattern piece. And when I'm slashing open my lines, I'm not slashing the whole way to the top. I'm slashing just to a couple of millimetres from the top. So for my second line, doing exactly the same. And what I'm trying to do here is make sure that my pattern piece lies really nice and flat. I don't want any puckers in my paper or anything like that. I want everything to be nice and neat and tidy. So I'm going to do the same thing the whole way around the flounce itself. So slashing open each one of those lines that I drew, spreading it by two inches and sticking everything down nice and neatly. And I've just rounded off that top edge. At each of those points I have a little jagged piece and I don't want any jagged pieces in my pattern. So just rounding those off. And I don't have any seam allowance at the top edge of the flounce just yet. So I'm popping in a one centimeter seam allowance here. And then I'm just drawing a line at the edge of my pattern piece both top and bottom, just so that you guys can see a little bit better. And the very last thing I want to do to complete my flounce is to just round off the bottom edge. I'm using my hip curve to do it here, but it's not necessary to have a hip curve to do this. You could do this freehand if you wanted. The main thing to remember is just to make sure that the bottom line is nicely curved and it joins up each of the slash lines. So really that's all there is to it, so I'm just cutting out my final pattern piece, I'm going to label it and that's really it done. You could trace this piece off on a fresh piece of paper so that everything is nice and flat, but I'm happy enough with mine to be like this. And I'm just showing here what the final pattern piece looks like for the entire skirt. So I've got my skirt front and back, I've got seam allowance the whole way around. Same thing for the flounce skirt and front and back, sorry. Seam allowance the whole way around. 
once that pattern is sewn up, this is the result. So with a two inch spread, this is the type of flunch you'll get. And then I thought it would be useful just to show that you can use this same method on any pattern piece. So if you want a flounced sleeve, use exactly the same method, just measure down the sleeve what length you want it to be and then use this slash and spread method. And the pattern piece you just seen will give this result. This is in a scuba fabric, so a little bit more structured. The same type of slash and spread pattern piece will give you this result in a viscose, which is a little bit more flowy. And then for this pattern piece, this is a little top I made recently that I did a video on, which I shall link below, the white cotton top. And this was an overlay fluted pattern piece that I added to that top. And I'm showing it here because I just wanted to mention that you don't have to have your slash and spread lines equidistant. You can really decide yourself where you want your fluted pieces to be or if you want one area to be more fluted than another. And this is the result of that pattern once it's sewn up. So really that's all there is to it. So these are just a few of the patterns that I have made recently and these are the results of that. So do let me know below if you use this method, if you try this out yourself, how you get on with it. And good luck. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting and maybe helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday with my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks.